You know, from some reviews of our today's device, all that you would probably learn is that Asus MX34V naming is a cool-looking curved monitor with nice speakers and a wireless charging coil. But we decided to dig deeper and see what else is worth to know about that seasoned monitor in 2020. Welcome to Tech Fellas, my name is Bogdan, let's stick into it. As always, we'll examine the outer look. First of all, the monitor stand bears 5 watt induction charging coil. I think as a design element, this idea is brilliant. The coil module is located in the center of a large transparent plastic disc, which acts like a light guide. It looks beautiful indeed. The only thing, there is no rubber ring, for instance, so if your smartphone has a slippery glass back, it may slide down that slightly tapered platform. But in general, I fancy the idea of turning the empty place into a useful desktop accessory. The stand itself is made with some elegant touch and probably to reach the maximum beauty some restrictions were made. The monitor can only be tilted vertically, you're not able to move it up and down, as well as rotating to the left and right. On the back behind the lid there's a place for 3 HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.2 and a headphone jack. If you wonder how many sources can deliver the picture to this monitor at the same time, the answer is two. You can actually plug something to all four ports and then decide which one or two of them to display. On the bottom edge there is a LED for indication, two buttons and joystick. Unfortunately no dedicated rockers for changing brightness and volume. I'm a bit sad as sometimes you really need a quick manual adjustment. This partially can be solved by creating a shortcut, but it is not exactly the same since there is only one shortcut and a lot of people need to control at least two parameters. What's with the sound, it comes out of two stereo speakers, each for 8 watt. They will not arrange parties in your flat, however, as for the acoustics built into the monitor, it's rocking high. The volume in daily life is two times bigger than I would really need for home setup. The quality also doesn't disappoint. Monitor sings. Monitor sings. Sinks clearly with decent amount of bass and a bit tightened, however not cut down highs. That's definitely a thumbs up. Ok, I warmed you up for the main meal, the display. It is 34 inch VA LCD screen with an aspect ratio of 21 by 9 and ultra wide quadro high definition. Or UWQ HD that saves me a second or 3440 by 1440 pixels for one who doesn't want to google what the hell has he just said. The radius of monitor curvature is 1.8 meters, in technical terms it is 1800R, but actually when you work with it there is no clear feeling that the screen is not flat, soon you completely get rid of any suspicion. It is said that maximum brightness is 300 candelas per square meter, the maximum contrast ratio is 3000 by 1, the minimum response speed is 4 milliseconds, and there is an overdrive which is called trace free in setting, unless we cannot check all these specs as it needs a special equipment. Nevertheless, the maximum brightness makes the screen perfectly readable at least in our office during the day and its minimum doesn't hunt for your eyes at night. By the way, PWM is not used here to adjust the backlight intensity. Gladly, there are no fierce traces, kinda like in motion blur style, even if you are not using overdrive. Image always looks clear enough. If you enjoy playing games, you will be glad about the refresh rate range from 48 to 100 Hz and the free sync option. Display is half matte that prevents you from disturbing flares or hotspots. It is also mentioned that Asus is using some special technologies to lower the shimmering. There are profiles for decreasing blue light that together with current control brightness make a long lasting work remarkably comfortable. In settings you can find a bunch of color adjustment profiles in particular by brightness, contrast, saturation and color temperature. Frankly if you need to set colors purely on your taste, these settings will be enough. I like the stock sRGB, just a pity that you can't change the brightness in this profile. Overall the picture comes natural, sufficiently colorful, pleasant and I just trust it. The white balance is not screwed much, the screen jumps to tones a little bit, it is especially noticeable in dark and blue colors. But when you want to connect this monitor as a second one and set the colors similar to neighbor device, you feel that it's nearly impossible to tweak it precisely. For example, I couldn't bring MacBook screen and this guy to an agreement. If blue and red colors turn out more or less similar, the yellow one becomes a burning spot on the monitor. If you align the yellow color, other might be missing. In the end, you have to look for a middle ground, which still doesn't make it a master copy. I can also admit that I like how equal backlight is trying to be through the whole length. 
white spots along the frame are not visible either in artificially created conditions or in real use like when gaming or watching movies. The colors from the center to edges of the screen are simply similar, but I have some questions to the viewing angles. The higher the angle from the line of a direct gaze, the more image is fading and, as expected, loses brightness. At least there are no strong changes in white balance and readability keeps fine. Asus MX34V costs a little less than 800 bucks, which in principle is ok as for an LCD monitor with such resolution and diagonal. Some IPS displays for that money with more tasty viewing angles for the most part are limited by the refresh rate of 60Hz. If we take some VA monitors from other brands, they have suspiciously similar specs and most likely the same screen, which means that the picture will be relatively similar, but they look not as fancy, and besides none of them can offer a stand with wireless charging. What I feel is the need of more picture adjustment tools, however I understand that I would have to look for in significantly higher price segment. As a home device for work, games or watching movies, it's quite a decent monitor that also looks pretty stylish. So if you decide that you will love it, I will leave the link for buying in the description box below. And if you like this video, then why not to support our channel by subscribing to it, hitting the like button and ringing the bell to stay tuned for more cool content. And thanks for watching and cheers.